Hello and welcome to Math Simplified. The effects of coronavirus across the world are unprecedented. It has entire countries on lockdown, millions of people quarantined in their homes, world economies are crashing, major tech companies calling off events and instructing employees to work from home. Administrative failure was seen in many countries and let's not even talk about the status of the healthcare system. Not enough manpower, not enough equipment, not enough infrastructure is a story of almost every nation right now. This is what happens when a pandemic of this scale strikes multiple nations with populations of millions but only having a handful of ventilators. Now we've made a video on coronavirus pandemic on 5th March 2020 and these were the stats of the pandemic on that date. And look at the stats on 27th April 2020. In just 45 days, 1.8 million new cases have emerged and unfortunately more than 200,000 people have lost their lives. Let me pause for a moment and give you time to grasp this information. The unprecedented data shows you the gravity of the situation we are currently facing. Many more are losing the fight against Corona every day and the world is grasping for help. However, there is an alternate side to the reality also. Although coronavirus has wrecked the human species, the rest of the environment is blooming. The animals and the birds are back in the cities, mother nature is reclaiming her earth. So in this video, we will look at some of the developments that have taken place in the past few weeks and also what future possibilities this pandemic holds for us as homo sapiens. Let's first look at the worst affected countries by this pandemic and how different countries responded to this situation. The country leading the charts today is United States of America with over 24,000 deaths and over 600,000 cases. USA is receiving more than 26,000 new cases every day and more than 1,500 deaths each day for the past few days. US is soon followed by Spain with over 170,000 cases and 17,756 deaths. Among the countries that showed a good pandemic preparedness included countries like South Korea and Singapore. In the months following China's first reports of the virus, South Korea kept its numbers of cases low. Just 30 infections had been recorded when on February 18, a woman reported to a hospital in Daegu, the country's fourth largest city. It became clear that this woman, who has been named as patient 31, was a member of a religious sect. There was several news of her attending church services and a buffet lunch, despite having high fever. She had been ill for some time and had repeatedly ignored pleas to be tested. The Korean Center for Disease Control and Prevention quickly announced that out of the 9,300 people who attended church services alongside patient 31, 1,200 were now complaining of flu-like symptoms. Hundreds would test positive in coming days. Following this event, in just 10 days, cases leapt above 5,000. Yet, South Korea, who was headed towards the same direction of countries like Italy and Spain, controlled the spread of the epidemic and as of April 27, it only has a total of 11,000 cases and 250 deaths. The backbone of Korean success has been mass indiscriminate testing, followed by rigorous contact tracing and the quarantine of anyone the carrier has come into contact with. As of April 27, the country has conducted more than 600,000 tests the highest per capita in the world. The UK and the US have conducted a lot less than that. This shows us that even the most developed countries in the world like USA and European continent failed to control the pandemic due to inefficient policies of the governments and the lack of preparedness of the health systems, while small countries like South Korea, Hong Kong and Singapore were relatively successful due to the quick and timely intervention that was need of the moment. One of the main impacts of coronavirus outbreak has been a significant drop in air pollution in many parts of the world, most notably seen in the developed or developing industrial nations like China and Central Europe. The drop shows just how much industrial activity has been decreased. Here is a satellite imagery from NASA and European Space Agency. You can see the level of ozone depletion of our planet, especially in the year 2011. And here is the latest image released by NASA and you can clearly see that the size of ozone depletion has decreased significantly. This is mainly because industrial production has decreased, which implies lesser wastage and less damage to environment. 
less resources are being exploited less harm is being done to animals and subsequently less pollution which is healing the ozone layer this pandemic turned out to be the best thing for water canals of venice where the normal cloudy canals are clear enough to see even the fish swimming below new york's air index has gotten cleaner delhi's air pollution index has come down to a healthy level for a first time in decades Now before I jump on to the vaccine about coronavirus I just want to mention that you can support our channel on patreon.com for a really low price that will help us to improve the quality of these videos by hiring more illustrators and animators all links are in the description bar below Researchers worldwide are working overtime to develop experimental but potentially life-saving vaccines this is a great sign for the world Over 35 companies such as Novavax, Moderna, Biocon are actively involved in the process of clinical trials for the vaccine of coronavirus. President Trump at a meeting at White House on 2nd March pressed for a vaccine to be ready by the US election of November 2020. This has led to a widespread confusion among the people because many scientists and vaccine experts like Annelise Wilder Smith who is a professor of infectious disease at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine stated that I don't think this vaccine will be ready before 18 months and this figure of 18 months is based on the premise that there will be no problems encountered in the process the pandemic will be probably peaked and declined before a vaccine is available she added a vaccine could still save many lives especially if the virus has possible seasonal outbreaks given that COVID-19 is a newly discovered virus and was only recently found to infect people there is no specific treatment for it says infectious disease expert Amesh Adalja who is a MD at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security however there are certain things that doctors have been doing to offer protective care these include isolation of the patients proper diet and fluid intake of the patients assisted breathing in forms of ventilators and ecmo for patients who cannot breathe due to severe pneumonia many drugs are on the watch list for probable treatment of covid-19 these include hydroxychloroquine azithromycin remdesivir and many antivirals that were previously being used for aids and sars but sufficient evidence that any of these drugs will actually work is yet not available more than one quarter of the world's total population is now confined to their homes as governments set up curbs on movements and social contact in a bid to contain the virus in many parts of the world borders are closed airports hotels and businesses are shut and schools are getting cancelled these unprecedented measures are tearing at the social fabric of some societies and disrupting many economies resulting in mass job losses and raising the specter of widespread hunger much remains uncertain but analysts say that the pandemic and the measures we are taking to save ourselves could permanently change the ways in which we live work workship and play in the future in the post pandemic world technology will be as ubiquitous as it is now if not more and tech companies will become even more powerful and dominant that includes smaller firms like zoom and bigger players like google apple facebook and paypal and not just american firms but also chinese but as the pandemic increases our dependence on technology people will forget that hostility towards silicon valley at least in the short term We could also see more government use of surveillance equipments. This will be a useful weapon to fight the virus. For instance, countries like Israel are using smartphones to figure out who's been where in order to track clusters of virus. Let's talk about the role of robots in coronavirus. From preparing meals at hospitals, doubling up as waiters in restaurants, spraying disinfectants, to vending rice and dispensing hand sanitizers, Robots were on the front line to prevent the damage of coronavirus. In many hospitals robots were also performing diagnosis and conducting thermal imaging. COVID-19 will fast forward the fourth industrial revolution and digitalization of all services including public services. Now let's see the effect of coronavirus on healthcare system. We haven't faced a public health emergency of this scale in a century. It is exacting a massive psychological toll on the world's population both physically as well as mentally and there are bound to be calls for action. 
people across the globe will use covid-19 as a strong justification to demand universal health care and the bodies like who and cdc will be questioned we could also see government boost their ability to deploy icu level assets build up stockpiles of protective gear and ventilators scale up hospital infrastructure of emergency nature and rely more heavily on military to fight the disease digital technologies will become even more prominent and we are likely to see a rise in the use of telemedicine as well as home testing i'll end this video with a quote from a famous author there are so many things in this world we cannot control like earthquakes floods and pandemics but it's important to remember the things we can like forgiveness second chances our relationships and our mind it's important to stay mentally healthy and physically fit at this point of time so that your immune system can fight off any infection that comes your way watch our video series on the topic of structure of immune system and how you can improve your immunity naturally thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this one see you in the next one